can you use an old iMac as a display for a new Mac or extra display for a MacBook? Let's take a look. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. Now I'm often asked this question. Can you use an old iMac as a display for say a new Mac Mini that you've just bought or maybe a second display for a MacBook Air or MacBook Pro? And the answer, I'll just tell you right off, is probably not. Let me explain why. So first if you recall there being a feature like this, there was and it will still work under certain circumstances. This feature is called Target Display Mode and you could read about it here at this Apple support page. It even shows a nice picture of a MacBook and an iMac and how one could be used as a display for the other. But if you look further you're going to find immediately that there are two problems. So first the iMac that you're trying to use as a display needs to have been produced between 2009 and 2014. So pretty old iMac models. And then on top of that they have to be running Mac OS High Sierra or earlier. This was only supported up to that version of Mac OS. So if you're past that it won't support it at all. Now even if your Mac does fit as one of those it's still not going to work if your newer Mac is newer than 2019. And that Mac has to have an older version of Mac OS. It has to have Mac OS Catalina or earlier and certainly Macs from 2019 can run versions all the way up to and including Mac OS Ventura. So you have to stick with an older version of Mac OS on your new Mac and on your old Mac you have to have an older version of Mac OS. So that really narrows it down to only a few configurations that would actually work. And furthermore you probably don't want to restrict yourself to using Mac OS Catalina or earlier just so that you can use your old iMac as a display. Now there's something you should know about those iMacs from 2009 to 2014. I'm assuming that you're only thinking of the 27 inch iMacs for this. A 27 inch iMac might make a nice display. However, however the screens on those iMacs were before Apple introduced Retina displays. So those screens were actually 2560 by 1440. And the screens after it were double the width and double the height. So four times the number of pixels. Those newer iMacs have brilliant displays and are much higher quality than these old iMacs. In fact if you just wanted to get a display that's 2560 by 1440 you can easily find one out. As a matter of fact they're higher quality, lighter weight and use less power and they usually run somewhere between $100 and $200. But I often try to discourage people from trying to use 1440 screens with their newer Macs anyway because using it at full resolution the interface elements like the menu bar and buttons and such are too small and using it as a retina display makes everything way too large. So now that you've found out you probably can't use your old iMac as a display I would recommend getting a 4K screen at least not a 1441 for a new external display. Now there is something else that you can do. You can use AirPlay. So AirPlay is the way that you could send audio or video from an Apple device to something else like say a TV for instance. And it does it wirelessly and it works really well. Starting a couple of years ago Macs support AirPlay. So you can actually AirPlay from a device like an iPhone to a Mac and then see your iPhone screen on your Mac. You can also AirPlay from Mac to Mac. So technically you could have a newer Mac and then use the older Mac as an AirPlay device thus wirelessly extending your screen to the second display. The problem with that is the Mac has to be pretty new to do that. You can see a list here of all of the different Macs that support it and you can see that it's got to be a 2019 or later iMac or maybe the 2017 iMac Pro in order to do that. But Two problems with this. One is you're going to have a much slower connection. Now if you're just looking at spreadsheets maybe that's fine. But for doing anything where you actually need the screen to react quickly and I don't mean just playing games or watching video. It could just be editing photos or working with apps with lots of interface elements. AirPlay may not be ideal. Plus if you've got an iMac that can support this chances are you could resell it right now for much more than what it would cost to get yourself a nice 4K display that you can plug directly in 
to your newer Mac. So while AirPlay can be useful to use here and there, I wouldn't use it as a regular solution for having a second display. Instead, I would spend $300 or so and get a 4K display and resell that Mac to recoup the cost. And I probably should also mention you could do screen sharing as well. But that's difficult to set up. You have to use the old Mac to connect to the newer Mac and set up screen sharing. And you really can set that up as a secondary display. It's going to be mirroring the first display and it's going to be even slower than AirPlay and probably isn't going to produce good results. It might be nice as a temporary solution or to occasionally use your old iMac screen, keyboard, and mouse or trackpad to connect to say another Mac like a Mac Mini that you've got. But I wouldn't use it as something you would work with every day. So while it seems like a great idea to use an old iMac as a display for a new Mac, it really doesn't work out well either practically or economically to do so. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.